we present a system that uses a single RGBD sensor to render a volumetric performance of a person in a novel view. A typical geometrically based pipeline could simply use the depth information to warp the color to a novel viewpoint. However, due to occlusions, noise, and artifacts in the depth, the re-rendered view will typically be both incomplete and inaccurate. This is most evident, of course, for back-facing views as shown here. In this case, the input image is not very helpful as it largely provides texture from surfaces that should be occluded in the new view. We thus propose a machine learning model that uses a human keypoint detector to transfer the texture in a small calibration set so as to aid in the rendering of the novel viewpoint of the performer. The proposed framework is composed of four main blocks executed in a pipeline. The first block takes as input the RGB and the depth, estimates the pose of the user, and uses the depth information to warp the texture and pose to a novel view. Normal maps and viewpoint confidence are also computed at this stage. Second, a calibration selector picks a good calibration image by looking at similarities in both viewpoint and pose. Third, a learned warping module aligns the selected calibration image with the target pose. Finally, a neural blender module blends the output of all the previous stages to form the final rendering. We now demonstrate the system in action. Notice how the output of each stage contributes to the final predicted image. Observable parts are taken from the re-rendered point cloud, whereas missing parts are inpainted with the warp calibration image. Notice how the system can extrapolate reasonable renderings of viewpoint that are far from the input viewpoint. We now compare the system with state-of-the-art methods. Notice how the system produces more realistic results when compared to a recent machine learning based method. It also favorably compares with fully volumetric solutions that use multiple views. Temporal inconsistency is a weakness of our method which we leave to address in future work. We now demonstrate how the system generalizes well to new camera viewpoints. Note that our model was trained using only the eight views present in our training set. The system also generalizes to unseen subjects. This shows that the proposed method can generalize to both new viewpoints and new performers.